Hi everyone, my name is Moni. And I'm Naveen from Before You Play. And today, we're going to be doing a playthrough of a game that is currently on Kickstarter called Hedge Mage. Yes, this game is designed by Connor Wake and published by Floodgate Games, who are helping sponsor this playthrough. And in this game, we are taking on the roles of hedge mages who are trying to retrieve back our stolen gnomes from our rivals' gardens. Yes, this is a tiling and abstract strategy game for two to four players. And so today, as per usual, we are going to start with a quick teach of the game, and we'll go straight into our two-player playthrough. If you'd like to jump around, we'll include timestamps in the description below. And we have to mentioned this is a prototype copy of the game so things are subject to change in the future if you are interested in the campaign there will be a link in the description which you can check out at your leisure and lastly if you like these kind of videos and you want to see more in the future please consider subscribing and with that we are ready to begin so if it please your attention to the center of the table we're all set up here for a two-player game of hedge mage welcome to our gardens yes and so like we were mentioning, in this game, our rivals have stolen our garden gnomes. And so it is our mission to try to wake as many of them up so that we can deliver them home sweet home where they belong. So then each player controls two hedge mages and they will always be in your rival's garden. In higher player counts, this will be on the board to the player to your right. But because this is a two player game, we're just going to be in each other's gardens. So technically these two hedge mages are mine and these two are Monique's. That's right. And just as a note, you know, we mentioned that this is a prototype copy of the game. And so a lot of things will be changing for the final production, including the mages. These are going to be fully colored uh, for the final production copy. Mm -hmm. In addition to these hedge mages, each player will also have 12 gnomes, four in each of the three different colors that we are trying to save from our rival's garden. At the start of the game, they all start sleeping, which is why they're all face down. But over the course of the game, we're going to try to wake them up so that we can have them run to one of the two tunnels that are positioned on our player boards in order to save them. So then the game is played over the course of maximum 10 rounds and each round is divided into two phases, starting with the maze building phase. Each player has an identical set of polyomino tiles and ours are going to be positioned off screen. And during this phase, we are going to flip over the topmost card of the deck and each player will find and place the tile that is shown. And so during this phase, you're going to be placing these hedges on your own garden board to make it more difficult for your opponent to retrieve their gnomes. Mm -hmm. And the placement of your tiles are important because this will dictate the number of movement points that you have in the next round. Now, when placing tiles, you can basically place them on any empty spaces. You just cannot cover up anything on your board, uh, specifically pieces and other hedge tiles. And of course, it always has to be confined to your player board. In addition, in future rounds, you can never place a tile so that it forms a two by two square. And of course, you cannot ever uh, cut off any section of your board. And after placing your tile, you will then calculate how many movement points you have going into the next phase, which is determined by these sigils. During the first round, Round, because we'll only have one tile placed, we will only have one movement point. But in future rounds, the way that you determine how many movement points you have is after placing a tile, you're basically going to imagine an invisible shadow that the tile you just placed is casting. And so in this example, had I placed this tile, the shadow would be three squares long horizontally and two squares wide uh, vertically. And any sigils that are within that invisible shadow will count as an additional movement point. So in this example, I'll have two movement points, one for the tile I just placed, as well as a second one for this sigil that is a part of this invisible shadow. And keep in mind, you're only looking for the sigils for that casted shadow. So had a sigil been on a location like this on this particular tile, this does not cast that shadow over this because it does not fall within that row. And similarly, if this is the tile that I just placed, this sigil does not have to line up with the sigil that's on the tile. It again just has to be a part of that invisible shadow that's cast. And of course, we will be demonstrating this several times over the course of our playthrough. And by the way, this can be done simultaneously by all players. And so once everyone has placed their tile for the round, then we move into the next phase, which is the maze running phase. During this phase, for each movement point that you have based off of the tile that you placed, you can move each of your characters that many spaces on your rival's board. Again, in an effort to wake up gnomes and try to get them to run to tunnels so that you can save them. Now again, then at the start of the game, all the gnomes will start sleeping and sleeping gnomes can neither move around on their own 
And they also cannot be saved by placing them in tunnels because they'll just be laying asleep on top of tunnels. So each game, you'll play with three different ceremony cards, one for each gnome color, that basically tell you what you'll need to do in order to wake up the gnome. As an example, for our gameplay, in order to wake up purple gnomes, we need to place them in the same row or column as a tunnel. And each player's garden has two different tunnels, by the way. They're just positioned underneath the mages. And when moving, each character can only move in an orthogonal direction, which means if I wanted to move this mage, I could not move it diagonally. But as you can probably tell, you can pick up gnomes with your mages, which is why the pieces look like this. Mm -hmm. And in order to pick up a gnome, you'll either have to move into its space, which let's just say this is a future turn and I've moved uh, quite a few times already. I can either move into the gnome space and pick it up for free. And in this case, the gnome would still stay sleeping. Alternatively, I could be adjacent to a gnome and spend one movement point in order to pick it up. So again, if your mage is on the space of a gnome, it's free to pick them up. If they are adjacent one space away, it costs you one of your movement points. Similarly, you can also drop them off uh, the same way, either for free, dropping them off into the same space, or by spending one movement point to drop them off into an adjacent space. And in this example, because my mage has now dropped off the purple gnome in the same row as a tunnel, then this purple gnome automatically wakes up. And when you are playing uh, in real life, <laughs> you would stand up the gnome, but because we are demonstrating the game, we are going to lay them down, but with their printed side face up. And as soon as a gnome is awake, it can now start moving as well. And again, all of your characters get the same number of movement points depending on the tiles that you placed. But as for the gnomes, you can only move one gnome per color that is awake. So in this example, I can only move this purple gnome because it's the only one awake. But if I had an additional awake gnome, then I can now also move the purple and red. But again, it's only one gnome per color. And just to clarify, even if I woke up this gnome mid-turn, they would still now get the full uh, movement point allowance. Now, in order to save these gnomes, we need to get them there awake by either them running there or by us bringing them there. So we have a couple of extra tools to help us with that. In this example, I only had one movement point, which would only get this awake gnome over one space. But each player starts the game with four additional movement points. And basically at any time on your turn, you can spend these to increase the movement points that you have by one per cube. And again, that applies to all of your characters. So if I really wanted to get this gnome home, I could spend three of my cubes and just go one, two, three. They're awake and they've made it onto a tunnel space and any saved gnomes go onto your gnome sweet gnome board uh, and you're gonna place these from left to right in their corresponding uh, row color. When saving gnomes, you'll also gain the benefit that's printed on the space immediately. And so a majority of these benefits are going to be additional movement cubes, which do carry from round to round. So you're not required to spend them right away, but each player can only hold a maximum of six. Some bonuses such as the next purple space here gains you these flower power tokens, which you basically place on your next tile in the next round to add an additional sigil to it. And the third type of bonus that you'll see are these spring shroom tokens, which basically allow you to jump upwards on top of a hedge. Now, as you can probably tell over the course of the game, our hedges will start to grow larger and larger, making it more and more difficult for both our mages as well as the gnomes to run to the tunnels. So there are two main ways in which gnomes can make it on top of a hedge. The first way is by carrying them to a hedge. And so in our previous example, if I had an awake purple gnome and I pick them up with my, uh, my mage here, just like I was mentioning earlier, I can spend a movement point to drop them off into an adjacent space, including on top of a hedge. And now that that gnome is there, the gnome can run around just like a uh, regular garden board and they can even jump off onto an adjacent space off of the hedge. This is gonna be important because one of our ceremony cards uh, requires us to place the gnome on top of a sigil in order to wake it up. Now, as for these spring shroom tokens, at any point on your turn, you can place these on any square in your garden board. And now the hedge mage can walk on top of the space and springboard on top of the hedge. And the gnomes can use these as well. Yeah, and when placing them out, you can even place them directly underneath a hedge mage to utilize its effect immediately. Now the game ends as soon as we've either depleted this 10 card deck, so maximum 10 rounds, 
or as soon as a player has rescued all 12 gnomes from their rival's garden. At that point, we'll go into endgame scoring, and you'll score points for all three different colors of gnomes based off of the rightmost filled space on your gnome sweet gnome board. You'll also score two points for each leftover gnome that's still in your garden that your opponent was unable to save. Conversely, you'll score one point for each gnome in your rival's garden that is awake at the end of the game. And at the end of the game, each player will have their own secret favorite gnome. And you'll score additional points for each of your favorite gnomes that are still in your garden because you love them so much. And at that point, whoever has the most points is the winner. And that is essentially how you play Hedge Mage. So we're gonna go ahead and get cleaned up and we'll get started with our playthrough. Okay, we are all set up. We are ready to go. Now there's no first player, so everything can be done simultaneously. Yes, so let's go ahead and get into the first round. Actually, before we do, let's just discuss the three ceremonies that we're going to be playing with today. For your first game, these are the ones that are recommended. And so if you did not join us for the teach, the purple uh, ceremony is the planter enchanter. In order to wake up purple gnomes, we need to get them in the same row or column as a tunnel. Mm -hmm. And again, the tunnels are going to be starting underneath uh, the mages on the board. The next one are for the red gnomes. This is Morelevate. And for these, we need to drop them onto a sigil. And again, sigils are only going to appear on, uh, on hedges. So we'll need to be able to get them onto those spots. And lastly, we have pumpkin. These are for the orange gnomes and they basically just have to be next to one another. So two orange gnomes next to another will wake them both up. In addition, the game comes with a 12 card deck. And so we have randomly removed two of these cards because it's 10 rounds maximum, which means we do not know which of the two tiles we're not gonna be placing this game. And finally, we both also have our own uh, secret favorite gnome. There's favoritism in mm -hmm. our gardens. All right, shall we get into the first round? Yes, please flip it. Here we go. First phase, oh. we're going to be placing this specific tile, which by the way is this. And we're gonna do this part simultaneously. We're basically just placing it down yep. and it's going to determine uh, how many movement points we have. Now I'm building my hedge Let's, tile over here. I'll do it just like this. And because it's the first round of the game, we're only gonna get one movement point. All right, so then we move on to the running phase. And again, this is done on your rival's garden. In higher player counts, that is the garden to your right. But because it's a two player game, it's just uh, just your garden the here, other Naveen. Person, yeah. So I'm just gonna do something really simple. Now this can be done simultaneously, but we are going to be taking turns to help demonstrate this. And since I only have one movement point, I'm just gonna move this mage one space to the right. Okay. And this one, one space to the right. Okay. So that's it. That's it for the first round, real simple. So you so don't now, want to spend any of your uh, movement cues. You know, I thought about it, but it is so early. I'm going to save them uh, for a little bit later. And just so you know, we also start with one uh, spring shroom token and we have a two by one each. And this tile we can place out instead of the tile that's on the card uh, once during the game. Mm -hmm. All right, how about you, Naveen? Okay, so the first one I'm going to do with this mage, I'm just going to move him to the left. Mm -hmm. And then this one, I don't really like what's going on over there. So why don't we walk away <laughs> and also move to the left? Ah, pacifist, And I, I will not use any extra. And that is it because none of our gnomes are awake. So we move on to the next round, shall we? Yes. Here we go. We are placing out okay. this tile. So find that tile. And keep in mind that we are now going to be calculating movement points based off of the shadow right. that the tile is casting. So I'm gonna go ahead and place mine here. Okay, I'm placing mine here. Um, you also cannot do a two by two of the hedges specifically, and you cannot cut off uh, any area of your board. Mm -hmm. So because I placed mine here, this tile is casting a three and a three square shadow like that. And it this shadow does include the sigil that's on this tile, which means I'm gonna get a total of one plus one, two movement points. Okay, I have a very similar situation. Uh, this one coming in here, this is the tile we're gonna access from. Mm -hmm. So we have a three row going uh -huh. this way and then a three row going up and down this way. So the sigil on it is one, and then I'm covering up this sigil here. Mm -hmm. So I also have two movement points. Nice. Now I'm still a little bit nervous about using my cubes. So I'm just gonna use the two movement points and I'm gonna go one, two, okay. and one, two. Mm. That's it. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go one, two. Uh huh. And then I'm gonna go one, two, but I will use a movement oh, point you are? cube. Yeah, so I'm gonna spend one. So okay. I, so everyone gets technically three. Yeah. So here's three. We're gonna yeah. pick up a sleeping one. Okay. And now they are in a row 
uh-huh. with this particular tunnel, which is exactly what the uh, planter enchanted wants. So they are going to come awake. Oh. Just like that. And then this one will be three coming down this way, just like that. And now that the purple gnome is awake, they mm-hmm. get a full three. So I'm going to go one, two, into the hole. Into the tunnel. Into the home <laughs> where they belong. Home. Home sweet gnome, home. Home sweet gnome. And I covered up uh, this, so that's the exact same uh, thing that I just Yes, spent, so you can just yes, I'll just do the same one. Okay. So I get it right back. Ah, oh, nice. There we go. We got I something going. I should have used my cubes. <laughs> All right. All right. That is it. So we're moving into the... Third one. Yes, we're moving into the third round. Uh, I think we're going to have you go first for the next two, sure. and then we'll alternate. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and flip over the card. Ooh. And we have the Tetris piece. It's a good looking piece. All right, ready? Yes. I'm going to go ahead and I'll do place this. One this. Here. What are you doing? Or, Cutting yeah. me off? <gasps> Oops, sorry. You're making problems? I'm going to, yeah, I'm making problems. I'm okay. going to go like that. This is going to make, this is going to give me problems later. Mm. But um, it's basically going to be one for the tile, two, three, because okay. it is a two, two square width, I guess, yep. row. And it eclipsed all of them. Mm. Okay, well, I did something very similar, uh, but so. It's, it's this three going in this direction, mm-hmm. so it eclipses this one and that one. Nice. So I also will have three. So All right. So I said I'm going to be going first, yes, right? Yes, you first. All right, well, I love the fact that this is nice and protected, so we're going to go <laughs> one. I couldn't cover it. Uh, so I have three movements. That's one movement point. Yeah. Two, we're going to wake up. Uh-huh. And then this purple one, uh, uh, so we're going to break. So you are legally allowed to break my movement points. So, right. So this one has can... moved a total of two, one for the pickup and one for the movement. Uh-huh. I'm going to break that cycle real quick, and then I'm going to have them go purple, one, two, three, uh... back into the house. And then now I get one of these. You get a flower power I token. I do get a flower here power you token. Go. Oh, you have your own, yeah. Yeah, I have my own right here, so... Uh, this I can just place uh, in the future on. Yeah, you're gonna place it on your t- the next tile. Yeah, so like let's say I had this going into this round, uh-huh. I could have placed this on here to give me a total of one two for the tile placed. Right. And then you still cast the shadows, so yeah. that would have been a total of four. So mm-hmm. this is a future thing. Yes. So I'll keep that there. Now you still have one more movement I for this do. mage, and you have a total of three for that one. Three for that one. Okay. To get the orange, you have to get them to be hanging out with each other, huh? Mm-hmm. So I'll go one two. <laughs> uh huh. Three? Pick up. Well, I'll go uh, one, two, three. You're just going to stand in yeah, that spot? Yeah, stand on top. Okay, because you automatically exactly. pick it up for free. And then if you wanted to create like a blocking, then you wouldn't get as many action points. Mm-hmm. So the offensive defense is, is kind of the, the tough part here. And this mage does have that one extra movement, so mm-hmm. we are just going to move to the left, and that'll wrap up my turn. All right. So then I also have three movements. I'm going to go one, two, and then pick up for three. Okay. I think I'm going to spend one. One of my my extra movement cubes okay, to so make that four. four total. Okay. So that fourth one is going to be to move four. into here, Wake and up. that wakes up this purple gnome. Uh, so this mage is done moving. So with this gnome, they are now going to run. They're yeah. gonna flee. One, <laughs> one two, two, three, three four. four. Yeah. Into the tunnel and Get back home. Back. And now I gain uh, a cube. So I have four full cubes again. Then I'm gonna go one, two. Three, so it picks up this sleeping orange gnome. Okay. And four. Mm. So I nestle into there. One corner. And it might seem strange, but I think I'm going to spend another cube. Okay. And I'm just going to drop off this gnome on top of the hedge so it's still sleeping. This might not be smart, but it's sort of my effort to try to get them closer. Okay. And uh, this mage is just going to move up one space because you can spend them mid-turn. Yep. And all of the characters will have that movement. Right. All right. Okay. That is it. Next one. Ready? Yep. Okay. This is round four. We have okay. the other <laughs> Tetris The classic. Piece, the classic. All right. And I think I'm going to place uh, mine here. We'll now, this. I think this is technically illegal because it doesn't cut off the board. There's feels, still a way around. It feels illegal, but it's not. <laughs> yeah. So It's not because, again, you can still hop on top of the hedges, including the mages. So I'm going to get one. Two, three, four, right? right? Because it's a three, a three width eclipse that includes that. Yep. So I'm gonna be placing this one here. Uh-huh. Uh, so I get one, two, three, and then I pl- I have to place this one out on this tile. Uh-huh. So I'm gonna go ahead and just place it here. Question mark. Let's just do that. <laughs> Okay, so you, okay. so this is not cut off. Now, if That's I was nice. to do this, this would be an illegal move because right. you You're have to have ex- access to this. Yeah. 
So I would like to do that, kind of like what you're doing to me over there, almost. That is not the same. <laughs> it's a long you're route. Doing. It's a long, long route. Uh -huh. So I have one, two on the tile I just placed. Yeah. And then if we just go this way, three, four, I did not cover this one up. Oh, so I good. only have four total. Perfect. So the first thing I'm going to do is we are going to try to get these two to touch. We are going to go one, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. So now that the two orange are next to each other, mm -hmm. they are going to both become awoken. One, two and two, just like that. So seeing as you kind of set this all up yeah. as like a nice little pathway just to, to not have to bother with anything, uh -huh. I think I'm gonna place my little springboard here. So I'm gonna Your go- Spring shroom. Yeah, spring shroom. I'm gonna go underneath, uh -huh. just like that, and that's gonna instantly push this one here. To an adjacent to tile. To an adjacent tile. Yeah. And then I have uh, four movement. Uh, I can only do it on one orange. Yes. So I'm gonna keep it on this one, and I'm gonna move this one. We're gonna go one, two, three, and four. So we're making our way. So this mage is here? Mm hmm Okay. And then with this one, we're going to go one, two, mm -hmm. uh, three, four. Oh, okay. Interesting. I think. You know what? I'm going to use uh, two. I'm going to use two. You're going to use two? Yeah, I'll use two cubes. So every everybody's going to get two more, but it has to be this orange one because that's the one that was being yeah, moved. Yeah, right. Okay, so we're going to go one, two. Mm -hmm. We're going to go one, two. Mm -hmm. And then this one will go... Oh, I'm so scared. Uh, we're gonna go. <laughs> we're gonna go Done. one, two. Ah, okay. So just they hopped, like that. That gnome hopped off hopped the hedge. Off. Yes. So in order for that gnome to get back onto the hedge, they'll either have to climb a mage like a right. ladder and get back on, or you'll need a spring shroom token. The, the way I see it here is you cannot play something here because that would be illegal. Right. So I'm just gonna try to slowly just make, your way make to a the path tunnel. together. Yeah. Okay. All right, I'm going to do something a little strange. I think I may have wasted a movement mm. point placing that there, okay. that orange gnome. So I think I'm going to place my sp spring shroom token okay. to get myself out of here. Ah. So I'm placing it on oh, so you are gonna that do space. That. Yeah. Okay. And it's going to hop onto this space. I'm going to pick up that gnome for free. Okay. And now I have a total of four movement points, which I'm going to spend one of these tokens to make it five. So everybody has five. So everybody has five. So now I'm going to start moving and uh, I guess I'll go one, two, three. Okay. So now that they're adjacent, the or these two orange gnomes wake up. Wakey, wakey. And then to finish the movement of this mage, I'm just going to go four, five. Okay. As for this mage, I'm going to go one. So that picks this up this sleeping gnome up. Yep. Two, three, four. I'm going to toss the gnome yeah, on top of the hedge for five, and now it wakes up this red gnome. So my mages are done moving, but now I can move uh, one of the two orange um, gnomes as well as that red one. So this red one is just going to go seems home. Pretty, yeah, it's going to run. Yeah. It's going to yeah. flee. One, two, three, down four. four. Because it can hop off of the hedges. You get your uh, white cube back. going to gain me a movement. A, another... Uh, white cube right there. Again, this is all prototype, by the way. Yes. And I mean, I think with five movements, this orange gnome can get there exactly. Yep. So one, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's a good one. And now I have one of each type. So it gets I'll me another home, huh? another movement uh, cube that here. That was good. That was good. And that is it. Those are uh, both of our movements. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to go into, I think it's the fifth round. Five, yep. And then we'll go starting with me this time, shall okay. we? Yep. Here we go. Ooh. Ooh this is a that's long. An interesting looking one. Long Long, uh, long piece. So with this piece, I'm going to place it here. Now it still doesn't cut off anywhere. No. Everywhere is still accessible. Every every square, and uh, it eclipses a four. Whoops. Oh, where were you? Here. here. Yep. Uh, that seems right. Yeah. I deeply apologize if you are anywhere uh, closer. No worries. Um, but it's going to go one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Well, I have something very similar, so we're going to just drop this in. Now, this is still legal here. This is all accessible. But yeah. if I just put something here, that would be illegal. Yeah. Okay, and then we have not made, nobody has made a uh, a two-by-two two grid, right? Right, so there's like no two-by-two two of hedge no squares. Hedge spaces yeah. because that's also illegal. Mm -hmm. So by doing this, it's one on here, two, three, four, five, because it's <gasps> a four-by-two, so I also have five. Oh, can you imagine if you also eclipse that? I wanted to, <laughs> yes. All right, well, I might as well go um, one, two, three, pick up, four, yep. five. Um, I'm going to spend two more. Interesting, okay. <laughs> to make it seven, five, six, seven. So this is now <laughs> in the same column as the, the tunnel. Flip it over. Wakes up, 
This mage can no longer move, but this gnome can just hop off into freedom. It's using one of its seven points, but there, there you go. And then the benefit there is one of those single white uh, flower, flower, power, yeah, flower token. power tokens. Okay. So this mage is done. That mage is done. This gnome is not as lucky. Mm -mm. I guess they can just go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's pretty, it's as good it's, as it's going to get, right? It's pretty good, right? yeah, yeah. And as for this mage, uh, there's only one gnome here left. Do I abandon them? That's the question. Yeah. I, Maybe yeah. I abandon them. You, you could, yeah. I'm so sorry. I, I did love you, I, I promise. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, ah, uh, six, seven? Oh, you chose favorites. I Did I do choose favorites? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to leave it at okay. that. All right, perfect. So for me, uh, I think I want to get this one as close as possible to home. So we're okay. going to go, I said what, five, right? So yeah. it's going to be one, two, three, four, Wait. five. <laughs> okay. Well, what, where was I here? One, uh, two, three. I'll just leave it like that. And then we're going to go off one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So we are home. Yeah. Uh, and then I'm going to get a uh, one of these movement cubes. So you get two more movement I with get this? two more with that. So okay. it's going to go one, uh -huh. pick up. Uh, and then let's just go ahead. We see a lot of these waking up uh, spots. So yeah. we're going to go. I, I have one more movement. Mm -hmm. Two. Okay, nice. Okay. And then, uh, so now this one over here, we're going to go one, mm -hmm. two to wake up. Okay. I'm going to break up this movement right here. So we have two still here. And we're going to go one, two, three, bring them home. Nice. So we get another movement, another movement cube. cube. Okay. And as a reminder, uh, they are waking up because of these three ceremony cards. The purple one needs to be in the same row or column as a tunnel. The red ones need to be dropped on top of a sigil. Yep. And the orange ones need to be adjacent to each other. So that oh one's a, a bit of a difficult one to do because yeah. it requires us to span the board, basically. Yeah, exactly. All right. Is that it for the round? Uh, no. Oh. Um, so uh, this one still has some movement. Uh, oh, okay. Now, I would love to bring this one home, but I had already move one orange, so yes. I cannot move this one. Right. So I have three more movements with this, and uh, I think they'll be able to take care of themselves. So we're going to go one, two, three, just oh, like okay. that. Oh, okay. Interesting. We got to go. Yeah, you got to <laughs> go. You left me with you no choice there. I mean, if you are able to bring home another red yep. gnome, you'll we get can, another spring shroom token, and yeah. then you can plant that. You can put this, this mage into position to I, jump over the hedge, I right? think the power that you have of adding one turn every single time is now over, right? Like you cannot block I off can't, yeah, and Yeah, I just literally now, left you yeah. that one square yeah. passageway. Mm -hmm. But I just think maybe it is faster to jump over. It, it, it could you. be, yeah. All right, so is the round now over? That's it. Okay, let's move on to the next one. So we have the L-shaped piece. Okay. Now I will say we do have two L-shaped pieces and this appears to be the smaller one. So we'll put this out. All right, ready? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna place mine right here. I'm do this. So, uh, yeah, let's do this. Still legal, I believe. There's no two by two here. Kind of okay. made a little X and I have. I'm going to place this out uh, yeah. as well. It's and I think four. I'm just going to place it here. Okay. So I have a total of four mm -hmm. because it's two for the tile. And then there's a three with eclipse here that includes these two sigils. Yep. And then nothing in this uh, yeah, direction. Yeah, nothing in that row. Okay, so you have four total. Yeah. So I placed this one here. Now uh -huh. this is still legal, even though it looks like it's cut off. It's just this has to go all the way around or they have to jump over with yeah. one of those uh, springs. Right. So my total is one two, three, because it's this narrow, oh, four actually. So uh, it is this two going Here, all the way. This. Yeah, it's this two going uh -huh. all the way. So it's one, two, three. Uh -huh. And then it's this three coming in this oh, way. Oh yeah. Four. So it includes that sigil. Yes, that is wow. a good spot. Wow, okay. that's, that's pretty nice. Yeah. All right. Well, I'd like to get this guy yeah. home, so do you mind if I just go? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so I have four total. I uh, move in an orange gnome, one, two. Two on top. Three. three. So that was a way to hop. Home sweet home. For hop you. on. So you get a so movement cube. Move home. So I get a movement cube. Okay, so you cannot move any more orange. That's true. I'm going to go ahead and move this mage. So I'm moving over one. I'm going to pick up the purple one for two, two which is now in the same row as this tunnel. It is. Planter, enchanter. So they wake up. And uh, what was that? Two movement here? Yeah, and you have four. Okay, total. so I have two more with this mage. And then if this one. If you want to get them home, I think. Yeah, you have I have to spend a cube. Well, so, or, or you can move back one with this and then jump off. That's true. I guess I might as well. Yeah. So one, mm -hmm. 
they are going to just jump off and go one, two, three, four, four yep. bringing them so they home. So full four. So, so you've get... moved an orange and a and, uh, uh, purple. Mm -hmm. So I get another cube. And I have one more movement with this yep. one. So I'll move them forward one. Sure. Uh, should I spend movement cubes? I mean, they're there. Yeah, because the dangerous thing is I can block you in, right? I If knowing that this one now has nothing else to do except come down here, mm -hmm. I could just put a tile here that could maybe just create some problems there. So now's your chance. Yeah, it's really unfortunate that this spring shroom token is stuck there. Mm -hmm. I'm going to spend two of them. Okay. So they both get an additional two movement. I'm going to so. go one, two. Yep. And this is just going to, I'm going to just move them. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. I had five, right? Uh, you get one more though. Oh no, six. Yeah, six. So I have one more. I'm just going to move another space over. Okay. There you go. Very That's good. it. And this one is sleeping, by the way. So I'm going to just lay them Little down. Sleepy head, huh? Okay. There we go. All right. For you. Okay. So um, I have a total of four, we said. So it's going to be one, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. I will spend a cube to make it five. So everybody has five. Mm hmm uh, five. We're on top, just like this, and then you kick your nose. Oh, they're not. They're not. Uh, <laughs> I did kick it, didn't I? That's mean. Uh huh. Then I'll go. Uh, I said five total, right? Uh -huh. One, two, three. We are gonna throw them off for four, and then now they wake up, and so now that red one has uh, five movement point points. So I'm gonna have them go one, two, three, four. Five. They'll just hang out right there. And then now this orange, I'm going to have them move. Even though they can go home, I think I'm going to try to use them. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Ah, you're trying to get them to do the business for yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. And I just have one more with this last, no, uh, not gnome, um, mage. So we're going to go here, just okay. down. All right, and that is it for the round. So now we are going to move on to, I believe, our seventh round. Round seven, yeah. Which means we only have a total of four more rounds maximum, unless either of us is able to fully save their gnomes. Mm -hmm. But either way, let's go ahead and move on to the next round. All right, moving on to the next round. We have, oh, oh the cross, cross tile. Yes, okay. the cross. Hey, and I think... I think I can technically put this here, right? Yeah. Because this is still oh open. Oh my gosh. This is still open here. Oh, you can technically access everything. They're goners. And um, <laughs> I honestly am doing this just to get all of these sigils. Because then this yeah. would be one, two, three, four, five. Yes, five, yeah. And if I do this, it's one, two, three, four, right? I don't no, think... I, which one is it? This one? It's all three of these. Yeah, so, so it's one, two. Oh, no, is it? Oh, that's hitting that. That's yeah. Five. Yes. Yeah, this is the three. The yes. Three okay. With here. Perfect. I'll go with it. So I'll go into my turn. Uh, I have five total, is mm -hmm. what we counted. So let's go ahead and move this mage one, two, three, four with the old pickup. Okay. And by picking this up, <laughs> uh -huh. if you follow this line here, uh -huh. we become awake. awake. Nice. There we are. Uh, with this red, we're just going to bring them home. It's going to be one, two in. So okay. then we're going to score that. Oh, and then I and guess... you get a, a spring shroom token. <laughs> I do, yeah. So I have one of these now. <laughs> oh, I want one so Perfect. bad. I know. So bad. Yeah, you created a problem here. So maybe I can just go whoop. Yeah, it's perfect kind of leap for you, over. actually. Next one, I will go one, two. Mm -hmm. They're going to wake up. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to leave them behind. Uh, I'm going to leave them behind on mm -hmm. this one here. So it's three. And then I can pick up this one, four. Mm-hmm. So, all right, and they're they're not awake yet. They're not it's awake. Four. Uh huh. And then I'll go. This, so this is four, right? Mm -hmm. This this mage. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. Okay, I'll go one, two, three, four. So I've moved this orange. Uh huh. This one will now wake up. Ah. And then what I'll oh, do, smart, to keep it safe, is I will use the last one on this, the fifth one, yeah. to go ahead and just toss right onto here. So that's the mage that's That's tossed. the mage that's tossing it. So this is okay. done with five, this is so done with five. Uh, all my orange has done their five, and wow. now this purple right here, or this one could go ahead and move. So let's just go ahead and bring home this that purple. One? Yeah, let's go. So can I get one, two, three, four, five? Okay, it's close. Yeah, close. It's close, but not home. You know what? There's only so many actions. Yeah. And I'm, I know I'm going to need to get this three, one home. Three more rounds. Unless you get them all home. I mean, you're doing a really good job here. One, two, three, four, five. I can send that one home. Okay. I'll send that one home instead. Okay. So it's gonna, that way this one can be uh, free to do whatever they want to do. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five. Nice. Okay. Good and then that's going to get me another uh, movement cube, which I have one off to the side. 
Wow. Okay, and I think that's it. I don't think I can do any more. Wow, that you've gotten a lot of uh, your gnomes home. You you have a, a good amount too. I should have done the gnome running strategy. I didn't do that. Gnome, <laughs> oh, gnome running strategy? Huh? The gnome running yeah, strategy? Yeah, smart. All right, I am going to go um, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. I have a total of five. And then this one will also just go straight. One, two, three, four, five. You're making a run. Ah, uh, do I just spend these? Ooh. Might as well, right? Okay. Like they, they, Six, def seven, yeah. they have to get closer. Sure. Um, so you have seven now. Yes. So I'm just going to go six, seven. Yeah. And six, seven. Very nice. Just to get them closer. <laughs> You're moving. I might as well spend them. Yeah. All right. That is it. Shall That's we just it. go straight into the next yeah, round? Yeah, let's do it. So this is, uh, the, okay. This Ooh. is, this is eight. This is a big one. This is round eight. Is and it's a really, really uh, big piece here. What is that? That's four. That's four squares. This is legal. Four square span. Is that what you're doing? I mean, it's legal. Is it? One, <laughs> two, three, four, five, six. Oh my gosh, I think I have to. You have to do it. I think I have to. Okay, I can't do this. This is illegal. <laughs> right? You're trying to block me in? It would yeah. completely block off yeah. this section. Oh, yeah. No, I'm not trying to block you in. I was trying to capture all of the... Ah. The sigils. Yeah, and then if you do this, that, and that blocks it off, so you can't do that. I mean, I could just do something it, like it's this. It's a good size, yeah. Honestly. So you have up. Like, maybe I just... Maybe scoot maybe it over. You are getting your gnomes. You should scoot so this over. So I just need to focus... If you scoot it over, I, then you get this one as well. Yeah, I just need to focus on my movement points. Totally. So I'm just going to plant a random hedge over there. So this gives me one. So this is a three. Yeah. A three block. Uh, this is a good tile right? to come out at this moment. So one, two, three. Yeah. And then it's also doing these two, three, four. Yeah. It's four. So one, two, three, and then four, five, six. Right? Yeah, six. Yeah. That's pretty good for no cubes. Yeah. Not bad. Yeah. So I think I have a similar situation. So this one right here, mm -hmm. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <gasps> That's seven. not similar. <laughs> With That's cubes. not similar. With cubes. That's 11. Hey, it's, 11. <laughs> it's potential 11. Oh my gosh. If you get all of your gnomes out before the end of this deck, then the game ends early. I know, but I don't oh. know how I'm going to get this orange to meet anybody else. Oh my gosh. And we still have our secret favorites here. We I don't know how seven, you're doing though, on huh? yours, but huh? We said seven, huh? We did. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh. You, up to 11. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and start with this mage. Okay. Um, I'm just going to go... One, two, uh, three, four. So now they're together. They're meeting. They're meeting, so they both wake up. Yep, I'll help you out. Thank so you. So they're both awake. They're both awake. Uh, five, and I have one last movement on that mage, okay? Yeah. But this one's going to hop the off. The old throw. One, two. No, this okay. is just, this one's moving. Oh, so this one, one doesn't two. get thrown. This yep. one jumps off. One, two. Okay. And then I gain an extra... Uh, movement. So this orange two. cannot move uh, that one cannot on their move. own. Yeah. Right. But with my last movement, I will move them over by one. Okay. And as for this one, um, I'm going to have them pick up the red sleeping gnome for one. So one. Uh, two, three, and then throw for four. Okay. So they have two movements left. This gnome wakes up because they've now been thrown on top of the sigil, Yep. Uh, that which is a more elevate ceremony. Uh-huh. And so they have a full six. So now they have a full six. How many do I have on this? Two? I believe two. Okay. So I'm going to get back to this. Let me have this one run. Okay. So one, two, but they so automatically three. go to an adjacent yeah. space. That's two. Three, three four, four, five, five six. six. Whoa. So they are, they are close. Lay down. There you go. And wait a second. I just realized that this is not legal. This is not legal? What was the last tile that we placed? Was what, it this? What are you seeing that's this illegal? This was not legal because this this uh, mage can never get into that spot, into this area. This uh, enclosed, uh, this area is completely yeah, enclosed. Yeah, you are right. Okay, so let's redo this. Good call. Good thing you didn't... I haven't uh, gone yet. You haven't yeah. gone yet. Okay, I think the best thing I can do is then just probably just do this. Oh, okay. Wow. So this Horrible. Stays alive. So it's going to be one. <laughs> Goodbye, two. mage. <laughs> uh, this is all coming to you. Yeah. One, it's two, three, four, five. So, okay. I'm I'm one short of what I said earlier. Was yeah. it, did I say six or seven earlier? I don't remember. Seven. You seven. had seven, but at least you didn't go yet. Yeah. Okay. I think I still have additional you movements for this. More with two that more. One. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to move them forward one, two. What yeah. else are they going to do? What else? Right? Yeah. yeah, I think that's it because I only have one movement cube left. And it's not going to get them home, so I might as well just wait. Yep. Okay, so I have five movement. Mm -hmm. uh, the first thing I'm going to do is just definitely want to get this orange one home. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five. So they're in, uh, nice. and that's going to get me another movement cube. Do you mind if I yes. get one? Yes, here you go. Thank you. Oh, you have so much movement. 
Okay, and then this purple needs to come home. So it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six. So I will spend a cube. So everybody has six from now on. Okay. Uh, so then we have already counted it out. That's six. So yeah. that goes in. So I've maxed that out. Uh, and then now I get- Which one was the one that just went home? Uh, the orange just went home. Oh, okay. Yeah, so and then now that purple just went home. Uh, so I cannot move this orange right here. Uh, and then for that, I get to get one of these flower, flower power. Flower power. Yeah. Nice. So there we go. And now I've not moved my mages yet. So let's go interact with this red one over here. So I have six total. It's mm -hmm. going to be uh, one, two, three, four. Okay. Pick up five, throw down six. Onto the sigil here? Yeah. Nice. So right. now this red can move. Uh, gnome is awake. And can move for six. So yeah. it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's just do that right now. Oh my gosh, it's a race. There they go. Ah. And then this one can still move for, what was it, six again? Yeah. All right, let's go one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, okay. I'm trying to meet. Uh, this yeah. is so fun. This is fascinating right yeah. now that you have like your inner, the inner. The inner and the outer, yeah. The inner and the outer yeah. mage. And okay. I think that's everybody. I don't think I can move That is everybody. Yeah. So we are down to our penultimate round. Yeah. I mean, I guess that's about right, yeah. right? Ooh. So it's the long, the long L shape keep it this legal. time. Yes, keep it legal. Keep it legal. Naveen. All right. Like that? Oh, no, no. So well, I just I need to not like block things off. See, this blocks it off right there, unfortunately. All right, I'm right. going to place mine this up here. One. So one, two, three, four, five, right? Or where's, oh, six. Hidden. <gasps> it was hidden. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's, that's shocking. That's okay. Good. Six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, okay. so I have a good one here. So this one, plus uh -huh. because I have this, I have to place this out. Yeah. So I'll go ahead and just place it, uh, let's just place it here. So it's one, two, and then these are the four here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, eight. bummer. So with eight, uh, I should probably go... Bring them home. Yeah, well, <laughs> I need to wait? get this one to meet that one. Uh, so if I if I go home, then that's the problem. So yes. that's why I kept them kind of on the hedge. I tried to so we're gonna go one, uh -huh. two, mm -hmm. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Oh. Nine, ten. You're doing ten. Nine, ten. All right. Okay. So then this one can go home. Mm -hmm. Also, they're going to wake up, right? Yeah. So then this one will go, well, that one doesn't need to go home. This one can go home first. That okay. way I can let, let this one be free. Mm -hmm. So it's going to go, we have more than ten, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. So we're good. So we're going to put that in there. Okay. So you get so another get a, cube. A cube. Okay. Okay. So then now uh, purple's done. I need to find a way to get this one. Uh, so I have, we said uh, 10, right, mm -hmm. total? Mm -hmm. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, pick up six, mm -hmm. seven, eight, nine, throw down 10. And then now I can just bring this one home. So it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, bring oh. it home. Wow, okay, this is... Movement cube. You only have two left. And I believe I've moved uh, I've moved both. So yeah. So that, that's it. And they're in safe spots, so I'm going to be able to get everybody home. Oh, my gosh. All right, well, back to me. I have a feeling I'm not going to be able to bring all my gnomes home. No. I'm so sorry. No. I've failed you. Mm. So first I'm going to go one, two, and then I'm going to pick up three, Okay. which wakes up, like, actually. Oh, yeah. Three... Four, five, six. I have six, right? You have exactly six. Okay. Now this Throw gnome them. is going to hop off. Hop off. One, yeah. One two. two. Home. And they're going to go home. The max 12. So is that the flower power? Uh, that's flower power, I yeah. I have flower power now. This is for the last uh, the last round. Yeah. Uh, this gnome is going to go one, hop on two, three, four. That's very good. So they've gone home as well. And yeah. this is a uh, extra movement. The highest movement, score. Yeah, 20. Extra movement cube. And this gnome is also going to do the same. <laughs> yeah. So they're going to go one, two. You got one of each in. And I get a uh, a shroom spring token. So now I can uh, place one on the board. Yeah. If I'd like to propel my mage. Yeah, sure. All right. Well, then with this mage, I'm just going to go one, two, three. Uh, yeah. Hop and them. then place my shroom spring token, okay. which hops them Free. onto that space. And you have, uh, what, three more? Or, you know, I'm going to have them maybe hop onto this. Oh, is it the same thing? Maybe the same thing. It depends on which track you go. Then I'll just go four, five, six. Okay. Right? Good. Yep. 
Uh, and that's it. I don't think Let's I'm gonna see get what we're gonna get my my gnomes out mm. these two. So we're going to the last ah, round, and it's the straightaway straightaway bar. It's a nice simple simple request, really. Well, I think if I do this, that's good. One, two, Ugh. three, four, five, and that's what I need. It's four. It's four in length. Okay, I'll keep it like that. Unfortunately, I wasn't very imaginative <laughs> with where I <laughs> placed my my hedge tiles, so I'm just gonna do that. And I'm gonna place another sigil here. So it's just a total of, uh, it's unfortunate that this is here. So it's one, <laughs> two, three, four, five, six. Six total? Yeah. Okay, I think this is gonna be four, but then I have cubes that can get me home. Yeah, it doesn't matter yeah. though. Look at, you just have these two. <laughs> well, it, this needs to be one, two, three, four, five. So yeah, I'll, I'll go with that one. Okay. That's, that's why I have four total. All right, why don't you uh, bring you them home? So I'll just spend it for five total. Okay, uh, so this so one? Then, yep. You want to move it for uh, you? Please, you so one, two, three, four, five. They come back home. There you go. So I get a mu Technically movement. Technically uh, an extra cube. movement. Yep. And this one uh -huh. will go home one, as well. Two, three, four. Yep, so exactly. you brought all of your gnomes home. And then I would have a, another one of these. So I would have two uh, two of these left over. Oh, these spring shroom tokens, they don't count for anything else at the end of the game. Sure. Uh, movement cubes, though, are the tiebreaker. So that is something that you may want to consider. And did I call these shroom spring <laughs> earlier? Spring shroom. They're spring shroom tokens. All right. So then I don't think I'll be able to get them both home, but I can do one. I can okay. do this. One, two, three, four. Oops, four, five. Uh -huh. And then I throw it onto that space for okay. six. So that six. is a sigil. And wakey, they wake wakey. up, and then now they can run. Can they run for six? <laughs> One, two. Oh, yeah, there you go. There Three. You. There you go. So they, I do home sweet home. bring home an additional uh, an additional red gnome. There you go. So there's that. I'm hoping I can at least wake this gnome up, because then I would really just be, you know, so close. Yeah, if you any leftover uh, ones that are awoken uh, uh -huh. at the end of the game do count for one point for you. You know what? I don't even think I have enough movement, yeah, because I so. have spent all my movement for this mage. I could technically go three, but it's not going to be enough to be able to throw that red one onto a sigil. Yeah, I don't think so. So one, two, one, two three, three, four, four five. five. Six. six. And then yeah. I only have three left. Yeah, and you would so need to get able to. onto one of these. Yeah. One, two, three. So you're about two, two moves short. Yeah. So that's it. I yeah. think. I think that's it. That would be and it, yeah. Clearly, you won this because you're able to bring them all home. Yeah. And I, I was so. missing one. But let's just go into endgame scoring so okay. that we all know how it works. First things first, we are going to score points for all three of the colors of gnomes. And so we actually have a scoreboard. So we'll just bring it in now. Sure. Might as well. And, okay. uh, we have our own player pieces. Ah. So this one's me. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm the, blue. I'm the red one. And you're pink or purple? Pinkish, pinkish yeah, red, the yeah. pinkish purple. Okay, so it's gonna be the furthest right space that you have filled with a gnome. That's how many points that you get for the color. Okay. So I get 12 for purple. Uh -huh. um, plus nine. Plus nine. So 21. So 21. Plus 20. Plus so 20. 21. Yeah, so that's gonna be 41. Yep, there you and go. You? Uh, so I maxed them all out. I was able to do it. Uh, so 12 plus 14 is uh, 26, mm -hmm. uh, plus another 20, so 46. 46. There we are. Okay. And then we score for the three parameters at the bottom here. The first thing is plus two points for any gnomes in your garden. Mm -hmm. I don't have any more gnomes in my garden. Okay. Uh, so I have one gnome in my garden. So you get another two, another points. two points. There we go. And then we'll do the favorite gnome last. Sure. Um, the other one is plus one for awake gnomes in Rivals yeah. Garden. So this is why you wanted to get this thing yes. awoke. Yes, that so would have been an additional get, point. Yeah. So, uh, none, so for, none for me and none for you. Again. Yes, neither of us scoring anything because there's no more gnomes in this garden. So let's go ahead and reveal our favorite gnomes, which yeah. I clearly didn't score. <laughs> I didn't one, score. One, two, three. Oh. Is it orange? Orange. Oh, thank goodness. This yeah. is red, right? It's red, yeah. Okay. So mine was uh, for flower. Flower is the purple gnome. Mm -hmm. I would have gotten three points per flower gnome that's still that's in still, my garden because yeah. they're my favorite. Uh, mine would be uh, two points per pumpkin gnome in your garden at the mm. end of the game. There is none in my garden. Okay, so nobody scores that. So this is it. Yeah. These are the final the scores. Score. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's Naveen with 48 to me with 41. 41. Yes. Nice job. Thanks. So, you know, again, this is a two-player game. So we are controlling. We are both uh, defending and Offending Correct. our rivals' gardens. Yeah, normally it would be like me. I'm I'm tinkering with you, and yes. then you're tinkering with the next person, and the next person's, and then it's kind of this kind of That's flow right. like this. In higher player accounts, you are defending against the person to your left, yes. and you are trying to take 
your gnomes back from the person to your right. Right. So you are going to be interacting with different people around the table, unlike the two-player game. Yep. And each game, you'll play with a different combination of these ceremony cards that basically dictate how uh, you are able to wake up each type of gnome. Mm -hmm. And the game comes with several of these. Now, this is just the prototype. We don't know what the final one uh, will have, but also keep in mind that the mages will be in color for the final version. Right, and also this setup right here, this is for the beginner first time playing setup. So yes. some of these were easier to get them uh, woken up. Right. Uh, some of them can be a little bit difficult. Uh, we have played with some more advanced ones where it was really hard to get them away. Yeah, so as an example, for the orange gnome, we have Garden Gordian. It has to be, you have to be, you have to place the gnome in one of the four squares of a corner. Yeah, okay. So you're, you're, you're basically you taking them. them all the way. There's no running strategy here. Sure, yeah. This one is within one space of both mages. Right. And so, you, you might see some of these numbers also on these cards. This also dictates where these, um, these kind of open dig sites are mm -hmm. going to start. So in our game, because we had the two and the four exposed, that's yes. why this was here. So if these were in right. play, then the five and the six would become it. So it kind of varies it up just yes, a little bit. That's true. Well, there you have it. That is Hedge Mage. Thank you all so much for watching the video. Now, this game is currently on Kickstarter, so if you are interested in the campaign, there's a link in the description down below, which you can check out at your leisure. If you have any questions about anything you saw here, feel free to leave them in the comments, and we'll try to get back to you as soon as we can. Once again, thank you all so much for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to see more videos like this in the future, please consider subscribing. Thank you. Thanks. Bye.